It was a summer Canberrans will never forget. Many people struggled to breathe as the thick bushfire smoke leaked into homes, workplaces and hospitals. I just couldn't get the smoke out of my house. It was so thick and I basically wore a P2 mask 24-7, even to bed. Nearly two years on, Caitlin Ross is still feeling the effects. She has long-term lung damage from the weeks when Canberra suffered from the worst air quality in the world. I'm severely immunosuppressed for, because of all the medication I'm on, which in the current pandemic is a really bad position to be in. Today, the government released its strategy to make the Territory more resilient to air pollution. It includes a plan for community clubs to become smoke refuges and for people affected by severe smoke to receive financial assistance. It also outlines a tightening of building standards and regulations for wood-fired heaters, though the minister wouldn't say whether a ban could be coming. We're not at that point as a community yet, but it's certainly one that we need to have a conversation. And while the strategy looks flash, key stakeholders have been critical of a plan they say lacks substance and has a number of gaps. Things like implementing a air quality public education campaign, introducing subsidies for air purifiers for low income households that are vulnerable to smoke. Asthma Australia says it wasn't asked for its views. We were disappointed at the lack of consultation as we think some opportunities have been missed. Air quality experts have also been left wondering why they were left out of the process. We want a strategy which is actionable, which responds to the needs of, of the local population and also which is realistic and, and, uh, and achievable. The government says there will be more consultation, but the details of how and when that will happen remain unclear. Holly Treganza, ABC News, Canberra.